Hey, welcome back, Rankers. Just got back from Pisa last week, the professionally based Sellers Alliance, and now I'm reading this. Excellent book, and written by the keynote speaker, Mr. Tim Ash, who was all about conversions and takes a hell of a photograph as well, and uh, is trying to convince me to buy a Nikon camera. <laughs> anyway, um, Good book. One of the things that he points out in there, and he was really adamant on at uh, Pisa, was if you've got one of those sliders on the front of your site, get rid of it. Um, too distracting, and it's not putting people where you want them to be. You need the, them to focus on your call to action. Really interesting presentation. I wanted to show you a really simple concept. Also, I just got to say thank you to Book It Live. Fantastic uh, booking system that they threw uh, they threw together for us for... Uh, we had 20 people come and see us at the booth up at Pisa, which was great. And so Book It Live, thank you very much. If you need a simple online booking system to get your clients to book stuff with you, bookitlive.com. Now, I want to show you a little, something really, really simple. So, as you know, we're doing, uh, getting staff to write different case studies up on the blog and those sorts of things. So... Um, one of the ones that we're doing, yeah, that we've done a couple of posts on, is Open Cart SEO. And this is the search I've done for Open Cart SEO. And you can see here that uh, this is the Jin, who's the author of the post. And this is her link to it on Google. Here's my link to it on Google. Now, if I wasn't logged in to Google Plus right now, neither of these would be showing. Okay, so no one else has probably seen these unless they're already connected to us in Google Plus when they do that search. Uh, the actual result that is ranking is this one down here, Open Cart SEO, four important steps at number 11. Now, I want, the reason I want to show you this post is, hey, you know, we're not, geez, it'd be great to rank for Open Cart SEO. No, we don't need more Open Cart. Open cart, by the way, is a shopping cart. We're not looking for more open cart business. It's purely that I want to show you the the process of what happened. So, open cart SEO, four important steps. You can see we've got a bunch of social shares there. Uh, it was done in two parts, and you can see we've got authorship set up there. When this one was first published, we ended up ranking, I think it was about 18 or 19 for open cart SEO. Uh, the following week, we published the, the, the second part in the series, which was Open Cart SEO, and we had um, this one begin to rank. So it actually replaced the first article in the search results, and, and it was ranking around the same, 18 and 19. So then what we did, we went back to the first post of Open Cart SEO, and said, right, you know what we should do? We should link the first one to the second one. And it was already linked, but the way it had been linked, so this is the first one, was, it was just a bit of text down here, this part we'd linked. So what I did, I said, no, we actually have to add a piece of text and say, here's the second part to this story and have it as an update. And the reason I did that is because it's a new piece of text. And as soon as we did that, Google replaced the first, this one, with the second one. No, they replaced the second one with the first one. So we had the original one back ranking again. Within a couple of days, it had gone up to uh, about number 16 and 17. Because Google had already had seen this, this relationship between the two posts and saw that we had a bit of depth about this open card SEO. So my point here is, is that if you want to rank for something, think about a series of articles that you can write about that topic that makes sense, and then think about linking them together. Basically, that's SEO for 2014, as long as you've got everything else you know, set up properly, you know, like your canonicals and, and all that sort of stuff, and your, your all your... You know, sites performing well and, and that sort of stuff. The next thing is making sure you're publishing content and making sure that you're publishing content and that it has a relationship to one another. Now, the other thing I've done here is that just recently, in fact, I think it was this one, this post maybe? No, this is the demonstration post I did for PISA. Uh, an SEO tool to help you panda. This is the one that I posted up here. And I talked a little bit about 
uh, open cart SEO in this, right? And I linked back to that. That one link and that little bit made this original post, open cart SEO, that was ranking at 18, go to a number number 11. Just those two links. This one, this post doesn't rank for open cart SEO. But because I wrote a little bit about it, here's an image about open cart SEO, here's an image about open cart SEO, and then I linked back to the original one, the original one came up to number 11. If I was to write another one, probably come up a little bit more. If I was to leave it alone, it'll probably still come up a little bit more because we're constantly adding to the blog. Um, incidentally, this, this post here, PISA 2014 SEO Workshop, we actually had the top 10 spots the day after we wrote it because no one else is trying to rank for that. But because of the way we use a WordPress site and this is linked throughout the site, it appears on um, not only uh, each blog post page, a link to it with you know the recent posts and those sorts of things. It also appears on the home page as well with the latest posts and that sort of stuff. So we had nine results for that. And since then, we've only got, I think we've only got two now as it drops off. But my point here is, is that if you're using WordPress, you're publishing regularly, uh, you, that's going to give you every opportunity to rank for whatever you want to rank for. The harder the phrase to rank for, the more content you've got to write and the longer you've got to wait. But yeah, that's once you've got everything else in order. And that is it for this week's show. Hopefully that's helpful. We'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.